This tutorial will look at embedding a Google Map into um, a web page. So it's a fairly straightforward step-by-step -step process. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our web page and decide on how big our image is going to be, okay? Or how big our image we want our image to be. So that's difficult to gauge uh, without going through a little bit of uh, of uh, playing around with these kind of things. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up expression and we're going to move down, give ourselves a bit of space here. So I want my image, my Google map to go in here somewhere. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what size I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a place marker image, just an image, any old image will do fine. I'm just going to insert a picture from file. And the one I'm going to insert here is uh, a relatively big image called wood. OK, so I'm just going to insert that in as a place marker. OK, I'm going to pretend. Yeah, I'm happy with that. The size of that, I want my Google map to be the same size as this. OK, how do I know how big that is? Well, if I look at the HTML, I can see exactly how big it is or else I can right click it and go into picture properties. And I can see that my image here after under appearance is 650 wide by 400 high. So 650 by 400. I'm going to take note of that. I'm going to go OK. I'm going to get rid of that image. That's the only reason I wanted that, so I'd get my dimensions. OK. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, Chrome. And I'm going to open up. Google Maps and I'm going to look for whatever map I want. I'm going to say TU Dublin Range Gorman. I can see that it zooms in on that. OK, now the next thing I need to do is I need to figure out um, how much I want to zoom in or zoom out on it. So if I zoom in on this, I can say like I can zoom right in or if I want to enclose some of the surroundings, I might do something like this. OK, so I'm going to leave it at that level. I'm going to say that's the level I want my map to appear uh, in in when I embed it. OK, so the next thing I do is I come across here to the left hand side and I go to share. And I want to, instead of sending a link, I want to embed a link. So I'm going to click on embed a link. All right. Now, what size do I want it to be? I want it to be 650 by 400 pixels. So I'm going to go, instead of going small, medium or large, I'm going to click in here on custom size. So I click on custom size and I go 650 by 400. Now, the difference between this and an image is that it doesn't try to redimension it. Just it just shows me what we're really doing is putting this Google map into what's known as an iframe, which we'll deal with in uh, in uh, in a couple of tutorials time, but into a, um, an internal frame, which is like a, um, a window in your page that allow you to see Google um, maps. OK, so in this case here, 650 by 400. Um, once I'm happy with that, I can preview the actual size if I want to. I'm happy enough. And then I go copy HTML. So it copies that to my clipboard, as I see here. So I'm ready now to paste it into my um, web page. OK, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up my web page. Now, the next bit is very important. I do not paste it into the actual design part down here. I must paste it into my code part up here. So if I'm unsure about where exactly I am, I can actually see my cursor is right here, but also it appears right there as well. But if I'm not sure, I might say um, map here. OK, I'm typing in the words map here. And you can also see that the words map here appear right in there. OK. That lets me know where that is down here. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete where it says map here up here and then paste what I copied from my Google Maps in there. And then I click down here to see what happens. OK, don't worry if it doesn't look good down here, OK, because it's not meant to look good in um, expression. 
Over the next number of tutorials, everything that we do, you're going to see me previewing it in the browser because then we'll see how it really works. So I'm just going to save it and then preview it in the browser. OK, so now when I click on images down here in the bottom and scroll down a bit here, you can see that my Google map appears exactly as I wanted it to appear down here. So that is literally how you insert a Google map or embed a Google map into a web page.